Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I wanted to talk about why Hydreigon has such a high usage stat in VGC 2023 Series 1. So, this is a Pokemon that I didn't expect to see in the format at all, but it is a really good check to the most used Pokemon Goldango. And not only that, but it pairs very well with the second most used Pokemon Murkrow, as well as the third most used Pokemon Garchomp. So, Hydreigon pairs very well with Murkrow, because it really appreciates the support from Tailwind. Um, Hydreigon has a base 98 speed stat, which is pretty good, but it could use that little boost to outspeed some other things in the format, which it might struggle against without it. And um, even if you don't have Murkrow, Hydreigon actually can set up its own Tailwind, which uh, is a nice little utility that Hydreigon has as an option. Um, it also really likes Murkrow as a partner because you can just kind of spam Draco Meteor. And um, for those who don't know, if you use Draco Meteor, it's a base 130 power dragon move, which is really, really powerful, but it's got the drawback of that it lowers your special attack by two stages. And um, Murkrow has access to Haze, and when you use Haze, you eliminate all the stat changes across the entire board, so for yourself as well as your opponent. So Hydreigon can pretty much just spam Draco Meteors, you can set up, or well, I guess you stop your opponent's setup, with Haze at the same time, and you can just use this move over and over and over. And um, I think the best two items for Hydreigon, which uh, could even boost that a little more, are Choice Specs. So you can just use a Specs Draco Meteor just over and over again with no drawback because of Murkrow, which uh, is crazy damage. But um, I personally like Life Orb a little more. And um, you know, I like Life Orb because you can just kind of use Protect here. Um, you can set up the Tailwind with Murkrow a little more free, and um, you can just take advantage of that speed boost a little a little safer. But um, not only does Hydreigon have a great move pool, Draco Meteor, and has Dark Pulse for things like Goldango, it actually is a really good user of Terrestrialization. And it actually has three types that it prefers to Terra into, and all of them are, are great options. Uh, the first one being Steel, which is one of my favorite ones to use. Um, I think probably the worst of the three is Poison, and um, it, also, it also likes to Terra into Fire. And what these all have in common is that they resist Fairy, which is a quad weakness of Hydragons. And um, these also have in common that they're all weak to ground. But Hydreigon doesn't really care about that because of its ability Levitate, which makes it immune to ground moves, making this Pokemon even better and an even better user of Terra. So if you're running Terra Poison, you just want to put Terra Blast on here for the poison coverage, take out things like Sylveon. Um, I like to, if I'm ever using Terra Poison, I'll run Specs. And uh, that's because I can just kind of go for Draco Meteor, or I can go for the Poison Damage, Dark Pulse. Um, Snarl is also a really good utility on Hydreigon because it's Stab, and it lowers the Special Attack by 1. So, and Hydreigon's a much, much better user of Snarl than something like Arcanine, because Hydreigon, you'd probably invest, you might just do a 2-5-2-2-5-2 set where you just invest max Special Attack and max Speed. And um, you can just use the stab snarl max special attack choice specs and uh you also hit both opponents with this move so it's it's pretty cool utility you can drop the special attack just kind of increasing your bulk i've seen high dragons also running assault vest if you want a little bit of extra bulk which i think is kind of cool but uh yeah i think that i think the life orb is better and i'd run life orb to typically if i'm using terra steel or uh, Terra Fire. And um, Terra Fire is notable because you can use Heat Wave, which is also a really powerful spread move. And um, Heat Wave is notable because it takes out Goldango, and uh, it's also good for Amoongus. And once you can hit Amoongus super effectively, um, it kind of makes you... It puts you in a good spot because you don't have to worry much about Spore which uh, is 100% accurate and it puts you to sleep. So it just kind of, I guess Heat Wave is more a good option with Terra Fire if your team is weak to Amoongus in any kind of way. 
But my favorite one by far to run is the Flash Cannon Protect Steel Terra. And this is pretty cool because a lot of people are running Garchomp right now. And you're already immune to Earthquake, which is super, super great for a High Dragon because um, Levitate and then you can Terra just into whatever and you don't have to worry about the ground type move. But a lot of times, if you're opposing a Garchomp and you have a High Dragon on your side, it'll try to go something for maybe Dragon Claw to hit you super effectively. So if you Terra into the Steel type on turn one, you can pretty much just eat that Dragon Claw, but you take like no damage at all, and then you just fire back a Draco Meteor, and then you just clear it up with Murkrow. And I've noticed that works like 90% of the time. They'll just go for a Dragon Claw, you resist the hit with your Steel Typing, and then you just Draco Meteor and you take out the Garchomp, and then you're in a really, really great spot offensively because at that point in time, you probably set up Tailwind with Murkrow, you took out your opponent's Garchomp, and then the next turn you can just haze, and you can just do it all over again. So, Hydreigon is just a really, really great check to a lot of what's running around in, um, in the format right now. It's even a check to itself, because I mean, Dragon strong against Dragon. Um, if you're running the Heat Wave one and your opponent's running the Steel type one, you can take that out, no problem. So it's, it's just it's just a really cool Pokemon, um, and I mean even if you don't Terra, uh, the Dark typing is great because you're immune to Prankster moves, which is really cool. And uh, I mean Hydragon's honestly just a really cool Pokemon and it's kind of fun to use. I mean he's a three-headed dragon, what's not to like? The guy's awesome. But um, with that being said, I think that's all I got to say about a dragon. So uh, thanks for watching up until this point. I'm gonna pop some replays on the end of this video just so you know I'm <laughs> telling the truth that this guy's really cool. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.